Hey guys, welcome to Brick System Brothers. I did want to run over a few things with uh, the nice bookshop modular that we got this year. Um, so nothing like a full review here today. Just a couple of personal uh, updates that I like to make to LEGO sets. Especially if it's like a really easy thing to swap out. So um, kind of something along those lines it's definitely easier with this set is the front door and in the original instructions it's it has you put in a brown front door and then this lighter blue one is uh, put in place on the back so I've just swapped out the brown door on the back with uh, the blue door for the front and I did that because uh, I like how it matches the window frames now and I think that brighter color is maybe something you would see on a front door, especially now uh, these days where we have people that like to remodel their homes and, and kind of add accents around on different places. So just one small update for for the door. It's pretty easy to swap as well, just um, especially since it's already included in the set, just move it around to the front. The other thing that I changed on the exterior here is up at the on the roof line, and it's harder to see with this light, um, but the official set has this 2x2 two two concave piece. Let's see if we can get this a little brighter. There we go. Uh, it has these in black instead of dark blue. And I don't know if that's just something that they're not um, molding in that color right now. But um, I think the dark blue definitely would have looked better here. So I've got three, um, three of these in place that I managed to put in while I was building the model and then until I find another one this last black one is just going to stand in place for me there. Um, so four bricks not included in the model that I did swap in. I just think it has a better look overall and flows a little better. Again not sure why they were not dark blue in the first place but maybe saving a little bit of money there. Even in black those are harder to find, harder pieces to find. So kind of glad that I could get some, uh, maybe swap into some other projects useful for making those dormers. Um, I haven't done any other exterior updates, but I think I will be changing the back of the bookshop at some point. Um, I think that this balcony could probably hang over uh, the courtyard a little bit, and then that would actually allow this whole section to kind of be brought back and give it some more room, especially since I have uh, some bricks in this nugget color. I think that wouldn't be too hard to add in. The only thing is going to be finding these uh, dark red slopes. Um, what I might end up doing is using some from the back to extend the sides, bring these back like that, and then make this um, flat face all the way up the back and um, try to build something kind of similar to what we have on the front with all this architectural detail. Uh, yeah, so that's it for the outside. I can't remember if there might be one or two things to look at inside real quick. So I'm actually really happy with the interiors that we got in these models. And uh, some of the original modular buildings actually didn't have any interior detail. Like Cafe Corner, I think, was just uh, everything was put into the exterior work. And then as LEGO continued improving their, their designs and their product line and kind of got a feel for what the customer wanted, they started to add these interior details. And so now we have these modular buildings with furniture and um, backstories like the chameleon here and we see some of that on the box as well they kind of work in all these character stories but yeah really good interior details here so the only thing that I did end up changing on the bookshop model was the carpet here on the second floor and all I did was uh, swap out the lime green 2x2 two two round tile for a tan one and that's it and that's just personal preference in terms of I think those two colors look better together than the lime green and you know we've already got some other green going on here with the steps so I did want to kind of tone that down just a little bit but the clock the lamp especially that chair all really good interior uh, furniture builds and um, happy that we've we've got these details included now in our modulars so modifying Lego sets is maybe a bit of a controversial topic, um, nothing really serious, but I know a lot of people like to keep their sets exactly how Lego produces them, and maybe that's for inventory purposes or uh, maybe like a completionist kind of thing, just to have everything exactly how it is. 
And even when I do modify Lego sets, I usually keep most of it in place. Um, just kind of tweaking a few details here and there. And like that carpet on the inside, that, that's pretty easy to swap back if I need to at some point. And um, I usually try to remember what I actually changed. Uh, it's, it's not that hard, especially with bigger models like this, because I usually uh, anticipate what I would change if I bought it. And so I'm thinking about that for maybe a month or two before I actually do buy the model and build it. And then when I have uh, the opportunity to do that during the build, um, I make sure it's like, yeah, do I actually want to do this? Do I want to change this model like that? Um, and yeah, usually I do, especially with this dark blue one up here. I just think that looks so much better. Um, so definitely an improvement. Personal preference also uh, in terms of like what you want in your city. Maybe you have slightly different styles going on and you have a certain feel that you want to get. So you might be changing models here and there. And uh, you know, at some point that does kind of cross over into MOC. Like how much can you modify a Lego set before it becomes uh, an MOC? It's interesting questions to think about, but um, yep, that's, that's it for this video. Just a look at some of the things I changed on my bookshop modular. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, Brick System Brothers.